I want to share a story with you. This story doesn't have a hero or a villain. This story doesn't always have a happy ending. This story is as real as it gets. This story is not just our own. They're your stories. Your neighbor's stories. Your friends. Your boss. Your grandfather's. Or just the person you met at the local sporting goods store. They're the stories of small towns all over Michigan. A small cabin on 40 acres, or a hunting camp on public land shared by three generations of one family. They're all the same story. This is just our version. season. I'm doing a lot of my last minute scouting. We got some rain last night, so it's a good time as any to get back into these spots midday. I'm going to go ahead and check this real quick. There's deer tracks all over and that's great, but it's pretty clean, so I'm assuming we have deer still coming to that scrape, so let's check this really quick. Oh. Yeah. That's the big guy we're looking for. That's good news. That's really good news. I'm, I know Tony's going to be pumped to see that. Alright, so I'm in here. I just heard a very, very loud grunt from across the marsh, which is where I think that most of those bucks bed. The does little bed in this stuff but for some reason I never see a lot of buck activity in here I don't see any bad like buck beds but I think I just found one right here so I checked my trail camera and I got a couple more to put out um, but I didn't have any bucks on camera I got a few does coming through but no bucks so I'm trying to figure out I know if we got a west wind, if we got a west wind, the deer will lay along there and there's a couple places to cross down here. And my tree stand, my tree stand, my tree, my tree stand. But it, um, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna find out though. I actually put that tree, that tree stand's only about 30, 35 feet in here. I put that tree stand up to bow hunt and I never got to bow hunt it, so I'm just gonna keep it in there for rifle hunting. So Alright, it's uh it's about go time. We got uh two days, I'm done. I'm I'm done and ready to hunt. I've uh been waiting. I got down to Ohio, did some bow hunting and got myself a buck. Now I get to come back here and See if I can't kill me a buck during the rifle season. I actually have two buck tags. Not something that uh, I like, but I get to do a lot of my deer hunting, my bow hunting in Ohio. So when I come come home, 
I don't know, I just like deer camp. And I like, uh, you know, being able to have my tags for that two weeks. So, it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be a whirlwind. I'll see you guys at camp tomorrow. Feels good, dude. Moved in. <laughs> it was really Home good. for the next two weeks. <laughs> well, we got our buck pole up, and that's a deer Jake shot the other night. You working hard or are you hardly working? Uh, hardly working. What are we going to make ourselves here, brother Jacob? We're going to have ourselves medicine and pancakes. Venison and pancakes. Venison and pancakes. We got ourselves a hind quarter here. Jake's going to work on that. And we got ourselves a nice back strap here. We're gonna work on that. We're gonna have ourselves, like Jake said, some venison and pancakes. Well, there's a belly fire following. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And burger? No. Oh. Need a generator. How many batteries is there? Charlie's got some taters. I flip that meat over there if you want. Yeah. Oh, we got some oh venison frying. Meal fit for a king. We're gonna wake up the fuck. We're in here. Oh. Fuck things wait against your camper. Trees on top. No, it's gonna be right on Elvin's camper. Ba -ba! gonna make it. You can call him anything you want, but you can't call him stupid. <laughs> chest. See how his neck meets well, his see chest that, like halfway up his body? Yeah. Here's your mic on, Elvin. Yeah. Should be. Turn it on. Uh, I'm contemplating going and shooting that one tomorrow. Mine. <sighs> Remember that day? Mm -hmm. Hard to say. Hard to say. What are you looking at, Jake? I can't show you. What's wrong? Can't show you. Secret. Oh, it's a secret. Big secret. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna shoot tomorrow. Oh, well, you got the big buck hat on, so. That's the killing hat. That one yeah. jumped on him. Jake wants to be killing hat. Uh, okay. He's got a secret trophy like uh, spike horn on camera. Jake, right Jake stood up and he's like that. Oh, he thought he was, he thought he was good. <laughs> oh, you can't see it anymore. Well, we're hoping Tony goes and kills that one tomorrow. I'd kill this one too. Oh yeah, hundred percent. The dog? Yeah, it's the ass that's in the head. Oh, dude, they had it a hundred degrees in there. Brother Thomas, I think the weather is nasty. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna go. <sighs> Nothing like a nice wet day. What do you think? Mm. I try not to. <laughs> <laughs> not doing that again. Hey, who's out there? Hey, is there coffee ready? <laughs> hey, six point might win the book poll this year, boys. <laughs> <laughs> We're protesting it. <laughs> Postponed. <laughs> November and if 16th. they hold that damn buck pole today, we're going to burn the bar down. <laughs> we're burning it down, boys! <laughs> we're going to burn it down. It'll be the most peaceful protest you ever saw. <laughs> Pat and Gary's ain't doing the two-day buck pole.
I don't know. Man, that door is a little sticky. My God, what is this redneck sweat lodge? Who <laughs> so smoky in here, boys? Jacob, pancakes. heating up some pancakes. Butter assist. Bring in the butter. Oh, oh yeah. Mmm. Go shoot the big one, Charlie. Same you. We don't make a sandwich still. Yes, there's a little some sandwich. Trying to kill a big one. Today's a day. Yeah. One thirty. That's when you're killing. One thirty. Basket rack eight point. Nine forty-five. Nine forty-five. Nine forty-five. Seven oh six. Seven oh six. Is that you shooting light? <laughs> <laughs> hey, make sure you guys shot the propane off. All right. All right. That tank. So, as you can see, I'm not sitting at a pop-up, I'm not sitting in a tree stand. I spent the time, and I said this last year, opening day is deer season. It was sideways rain, 30 mile an hour winds, terrible weather. So I said last year, opening day, I said next year, I will have a blind to sit in. Nothing illegal about it before anybody questions it. Um, I'm allowed to have it up from uh, October 1st to January 1st or 2nd or something like that. But And I just pulled 
the screws out of it. There's like 12 wood screws that hold all the panels together. And they all stack up on top of each other, put a strap around them. There's backpack straps on the floor. And you just carry the whole thing out. So, and so far, I'm liking it. That buck only has one antler. Looks like he'd be a little basket of eight. They had a few trail cameras out here, but um, they weren't out that long. And they weren't sending me pictures, weren't working right. I don't know what it was, but um, they had a couple bucks. Didn't have that one on camera. Would have remembered that one. Yeah, a little half racked. That would have been a neat point. Okay, so Travis shot a buck a couple minutes ago. I actually just heard my first shot about two minutes ago. Last night we were joking with Travis that he was going to shoot. A six point with no brow tines. He shot a six point with no brow tines. This is hilarious. You can't make that stuff up. Look at that. <laughs> six point, no brow tines. I think it was Jake that called it. There's a bull in there. I think there's just two cows.
I just got to the base of the tree. We're gonna go walk over to where that deer crashed. Hopefully that cow elk still isn't there. That wouldn't be good. I just said I'd still be in the stand, obviously, but we got a storm coming in. And I really don't want to mess with that. So might not even hunt tonight now that I got deer on the ground, so. better look at him. Maybe get off this marsh just in case anything else scoots through here. So, Yep. Good deal. Well, here he is. Bucked out a shot this morning. Maybe he has a better look at him. Um, I didn't uh, didn't get a buck last year. You know, I wasn't even filming last year. I well, didn't even hunt much. Just uh, wasn't really into it. You know, a lot of people asked why I didn't uh, film last year and you know just like anyone else I was dealing with a lot of you know mental health issues and stress and anxiety and everything and it took a lot to you know to get over it I had to give up some of the things that I loved in order to get back into it and it was a long battle Believe me, it was, uh, I hate giving up the things that I love, but when they're, <clears throat> when they're on the brink of killing you, and sometimes you have to, and that's what I had to do last year with filming. So, obviously I'm right back at it, and I promised myself getting back into this that I was going to do it for the fun again. You know, I wasn't going to look at it like a business or a job. I mean, I love what I do. I love what I do with all the other guys and hunting and fishing. and Deer hunting is my sole passion. And for everything that I've gone through and everything to come down to this, I couldn't be any more happy. Opening day, 2020, and what a shit year that's been. But this is a good way to start the opening day, and I'm happy. Thanks a lot, guys. Can't wait to get back to camp. Show everyone. So, got a lot of a lot of hunting left to do. I think it's gonna be a good season. right now went back and picked up the lovely Miss Roslyn we're gonna go put my buck on the buck pole I don't even know if I'm gonna hunt tonight it's really really windy it's starting to rain so it's getting pretty nasty but I might I'm not sure we'll see but first we gotta hang this on the buck pole I got the same saw cam that keeps sending me pictures. It's had four bucks on it this morning during shooting light and four does. So I don't know if there's a hot doe in there or something, but like I said, last night I flipped a coin and it brought me here. I'm actually 
kind of regretting that decision right now. So um, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it another half hour. I, I really don't want to get out for 11, but I kind of want to get my stuff and, and get over there and sit the rest of the day. So that's what I plan on doing. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get over there, sneak in there, get into a tree, and uh, make something happen at night. I know I got deer here, the deer moving, but I mean, what, what's going on, you know, away from that camera? I mean, probably got bucks bumping toes, everything. So, when you get four different bucks on camera within the first four hours of shooting the day. Yeah, I know what I gotta do. I'm gonna do this intro on the way there just because I'm gonna have to sneak in but this morning I was getting a bunch of trail cam pictures from my cell cam and I had four different bucks come through this area uh, it's up on uh, Oak Knob and I had does in there pretty much all last night and this morning and there was a bunch of bucks in there obviously so I'm thinking there's a hot doe or something in there go in there, sneak in there, get in with the climber, and we'll see if we can't get one. A couple of them are, uh, you know, decent bucks that I would love to shoot, so we'll see if we can sneak in there. We got some, uh, quite a bit of snow coming down right now. We'll give it a shot. We'll see you guys in the tree. I was worried about that. He might pop up somewhere else, but man, I knew it too. I told myself if anything came off that ridge, it was gonna bust me. But if they if they're on the back side over here and they come up the ridge, I should be able to get a shot.
back stretch now. One hour. That's going to about wrap this uh, opening day up. There's a gorgeous day. A um, little bit rough conditions, but that's okay. Cold, windy a little bit at times. Um, spit and snow and sleet, but other than that, it was a great day. Saw a total of seven or eight deer. Seven, yeah, seven deer. Um, yeah, it was a good day. Saw a deer all day. I can't wait to get to the buck bowl, see everyone, uh, see all the big bucks that hit the ground today, so, uh, should be pretty fun, so, oh, let's go. The TV. Probably a lot, the TV. Probably a lot of raindrops, right? <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Big Daddy? Yeah. Hold a cigarette. You can't have that on TV. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for coming out tonight. I'm not sure what year this is, but this is the Alcorn, the Vanderbilt area Buck Bowl. Uh, thank you to the Alcorn for hosting it. Jim, Mandy, Chuck, Sheila, Mike, everyone, the whole crew, all you guys. You guys every year put on a great show. Uh, were you excited? Well, hats off to you, man. Congratulations. Oh, $318. That's about enough to fill up your truck these days. He was sleeping, and I thought it was a good time to take a leak. So I was hanging half out of the blind, peeing. I have to look over my shoulder and saw his antlers. Climb back in the blind, woke him up. And he got a little nervous, and then I got nervous, and I beat him to the shop. But it went down and we didn't have to track it, so. Very good. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, sorry, don't be sleeping, Austin. <laughs> 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 Reminiscing about the days when we used to shoot deer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen, apparently. Buckless youpers today. We are. Could have shot a couple small ones, but whatever. Shoot anything that comes in. Oh, I'm shooting a doe tomorrow. I just don't shoot does on open day. Brother Jacob. You ready to hunt? It's too early for that shit, dude. Come on now. <laughs> Brother Thomas! Brother yeah. Thomas, have you risen? Nope. Tommy. Come on, Brother Thomas! <laughs> Brother Thomas! <laughs> My man. What is the story behind these? We got original, about. man. It's not all about the fancy camouflage. You got to stay warm in the tree. Uh huh. These are third generation original wolves. Great Grandpa Johnsons. I ain't never worn them before, but I'm about to test them out. Well, if you kill a monster buck today, you can thank Grandpa Johnson. Great Grandpa Johnson <laughs> will be riding with me in the tree. <laughs> Here we are. I didn't leave quite early enough. Hang is set up and ready to go until about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes after shooting light. 7.37 right now. I've been set up watching for a few minutes before I turn the camera on, but I'd say about 15 minutes after shooting light is when I was set up. This 
This is the spot I've been waiting to get into. Couldn't get into it yesterday. I'm ready. Well, just got the news. Charlie got down. He's got good blood right from where the shot was, so. Good news. He said it looks like lung blood, so he's still gonna back out. Pump for him. As long as he's been hunting, he's always worked hard, but especially these last couple of years, he's really, really hunted hard scouted hard so hopefully he's right there up over top of the hill and he'll have a good buck he deserves it okay guys I, I didn't get the shot on film it, it happened way too fast the doe came in to my right and I'm facing towards the west because all my deer that I've had cameras and everything is coming out straight out in front of me and this doe came off I had a doe all the way across I checked it with the scope turned my scope all the way up and I had a doe come in to my right around this ridge I'll show you here in a minute so I turned the camera on filmed her for about a minute or so. I didn't want to film too much because I'm, my battery life's at like 31 minutes to go. So I shut the I shut the camera off. The second I shut the camera off, he comes around the corner running and grunting right towards her. I have to stand up to shoot. She runs up the ridge. I'll show you where she ran. She ran up towards the ridge. So he turned. When he turned, I had to stand up. When I stood up, he stopped, gave me a perfect broadside sh shot. I put it right on his shoulder and pulled the trigger. He took off running. I could watch him for about 50, I'm going to say between 50 and 70 yards, and he went over the ridge. And I, right before he went over the ridge, I sh pulled the trigger again. I got him in my scope one more time and pulled him again. This is the first deer that I've ever had with this gun that didn't drop. So it's got me a little bit frustrated and I don't want to spook him if he's, if I only wounded him or hurt him just a little bit. So I, can, I might wait until somebody else comes out. Just off the phone with Travis. Uh, Travis and Jake are coming out. Elvin's working at the moment. Um, Tony's in the tree stand. I told him just to stay there. He's got a he's got a huge one on camera. So so as of right now, I did find blood. Um, you'll see here in a minute when we get back there. So well, boys, 1:30. <laughs> I think the deer's uh, had its a uh, little bit of a rest. You about sick of waiting? Huh? I'm sick of waiting, dude. I'm so nervous right now. It's driving me insane. So, well, I don't know if, it, if it's an eight, a 10. I just know it's wide and it was a little bit tall. That's all, I didn't even focus on the horn. Like I said, it was chasing the doe, so. And I got blood right, right where I shot him. I mean, blood, both sides. Wait, wait. Yeah, so, yeah. I think he just hit it through both lungs and it passed right through instead of hitting the bone. See it. 
Here's your big buck, buddy. I did shoot him a little hot. A little Back. Yeah. Pour it away from me. I had a short to right. Get a little lower. There you go. Facing me. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Sweet, dude. Good job. You earned it. Oh, especially at this spot. It took me three trips with the little guy to get the tree stand back here. Put a couple cameras up. I bet you the little guy, my, little, my son, he's only six years old. And this trip back here is 1.6 miles. So he's been back here, I'm gonna assume four, five times, maybe five's max. So as much as it is mine, it's also his, he's gonna be pumped. He named this one Hercules. He's a big bone collector fan, so he's, he likes to name the deer. Well, the biggest deer. buck I've to the date that I've killed, I've shot, I've shot at a couple and screwed up on a couple. As much as I wanted to get it on film, as much as I wanted to kill a big buck. So that's three. You probably now. wanted to kill a big buck a little more than you cared about getting on yeah. film. That's the three. I can't. We're all in that boat, bud. Yeah. So we got three down in camp. We got a coyote. So we got a six, a seven, and this beautiful nine. It was a 10 when I had it on camera. It had this brow time, but it's broken off. There's two other bucks in here. One that's high and tight, and then one that's really high and tight. <laughs> so I'll be, I'll be back in here, that's for sure. So I always say a phrase to myself, seek the legend. Drop the monster. Obviously, this ain't the legend, but this is a monster in my mind. So, stay wild. Wish you gone wild. We got a lot more hunt to go, guys. We got pancakes, sausage, eggs. Old brother Jacob, he woke up bright and early this morning. Rather going to his deer stand, he said, I'm going to make you boys a fine meal. I don't know if that's quite the way it worked, but... Yeah, that's all right. We'll go what do you think, Kevin? Was that pretty good? Huh? But those are all yeah. That's good. good stuff. Nobody hunting on the third morning. Get out of there. Charlie, you enjoying it? It's November 18th. Fourth day of deer camp. I've only hunted two out of the four mornings, which is I've never done. I've never missed too many in two mornings of uh, gun season in a row in the first week. This morning went to go back to that same stand again and my power steering pump locked up on my, my other truck so both trucks were down uh, got the power steering pump on the one truck and then needed a serpentine belt so that's as far as I got with that went and got a tire got a tire mounted up for my other truck and got that one on the road <clears throat> And time to make it out for the afternoon. Um, and I actually had, I got a cell camera up in these hills. And uh, this morning I had a picture of a real good nine point right at shooting light, like 7.15 a.m. Check the screen. And I see much way 
left out of the screen, but I've got a really good suspicion that he's batted on this next ridge over from where I'm sitting right now. this route to get back here tonight before dark that's a different story I don't know that but I would almost put money that I know right where that buck is bedded about 400 yards from where I had him on camera this morning maybe 300 there's an awesome bedding point up there Died? Huh? Do you think it died? Do you think it died? 
Timmy could die. Was that fun? <laughs> yeah. Tested your patience, didn't it? Yeah. I, I don't know if I um, killed it or not. Are you ready to go check? Uh, we're going to give it a little bit. Shh, stay quiet. Come on. It looked like a good hit, though. He jumped way up in the air. Looked like he hit him right in the front shoulder. Yes. Thank you. I don't know who's shaking worse, me or you. Give me five. We gotta, we gotta replay it and see where the shot yeah. hit, but it looked like a good shot. Be quiet, Lex. Ew. Chunk of fat. Is that good? Well, it depends. If you hit low, like right in the armpit, you might have caught his heart. Is that good? Yeah, that's really good, but I don't know if that's what happened. We're going to take Lexi's deer nice and slow. Hope for the best. Hopefully it's dead, but... Take it for a little ways further, and if we bump it or something. I was hoping to get it before she went back to school, but... Um, if we bump it... Then I'll just come back by myself in the morning. But hopefully it didn't go too far. It's dead. Let's do this. Ready? Yep. There's okay. Lexi's first doe. What do you think, Lex? It's, it's, it's cool. I like it. My first doe. It only went. What's it been? Five minutes? Probably probably another 75, 80 yards. She did hit it far far enough, way far back, but that'll work. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Your first doe. Yep. Two bucks and a doe. Yep. Good job. Thank you. Now I can add this on to my list. Yep. You ready to get her to the truck? Yeah. Alrighty.
it is pretty darn cold. We got like 34 minutes left on this battery. Big dough. Oh, I'm gonna get her. And then when I hit her, I could see it. It was like a shoulder. So, so let me get her cleaned up, tagged up, and get her out of here. Another successful hunt. Alright, it is Thanksgiving evening. I'm trying to find the words right now. What to say. Um, thought that far ahead. Um, first off, you can tell we're in a snowstorm right now. About 30 mile an hour winds. 20, 30 degrees, 20 maybe. Wind chill, less than that. But last night, I lost my brother in a car accident. My younger brother. 19 years old. Um, we're all still trying to kind of gather our thoughts on it and whatnot, but my other younger brother and I decided this afternoon, the last minute, about 3 o'clock, 2.30, we were going to come on a spot that to come on together in the past. He actually shot a buck here with his bow a couple years ago. And, um, I think two or th three years ago, I shot an eight point here on Thanksgiving Day with him. So we decided we were going to come in here and split up and hunt this. And uh, brutal weather to be sitting in a tree stand. Froze. Froze solid right now. And uh, it's starting to get dark, kind of lost camera light, and to be honest, I wasn't even going to bring the camera out here, um, and I decided to bring it just, just in case, you know, I guess however I felt about it, whether I was going to film it or not, but I watched a deer come out on top of the ridge, about 200, 200 and a quarter yards out across the top of this ridge, and I had snow in my scope, and trying to clear it out, trying to make it out, and uh, couldn't make it out, I, I knew it was a deer, you know, obviously, I just couldn't see what was on its head, and uh, it was right in the last five minutes of shooting, like, maybe ten, I don't know, it's been, it's been ten, fifteen minutes, I've just been sitting here kind of gathering my thoughts, but um, anyways, I decided, I said, you know what? I said a bow is sitting in this tree right now. And he had a, a doe tag and a buck tag in his pocket. I said I know what he would do. So I cleared the snow out of the scope the best that I could. Put the crosshairs at this time it's kinda going behind some thick stuff. Put the crosshairs on the front shoulder, it was quartered to me a little bit. And the light was fading and touched the trigger off I watched it go down so buck doe I have no idea and quite frankly I have I, I don't care um, I know he would have done the same thing that's what I did
this hunt. Stay tuned. This one's for you, Bobo. All right, Hunter just got to me here. We're gonna go take a look and see what we got. Fawn, flight horn, six point, doe. We don't know, I'm gonna find out though. Well, big old horse head doe. We'll take that too, huh? Yeah. Man, she's big, ain't she? I knew it was a big deer, but... That side. That would be the exit. The, that side your hand's on right there would be the exit. Here's Bo's deer. That one's for Bobo. No matter what it is, I never forget that one. Every year, the 26th of November, 25th actually, but Thanksgiving Day, ground checked her, bow style. <laughs> well, we're gonna get her, got it out. Take her back up the mountain and go eat some Thanksgiving dinner. Well, it's December 3rd, opening day of gun season muzzleloader season, not gun season. Um, I'm going to be sitting in a pop-up this morning uh, right off the corner of a grown-up cutting. A lot of brows in there, popple whips and, and uh, scrub beach and, and berry briars and stuff like that. So that seems to be some of the only food left up in the, in the hills here. No acorns up in here. So I went in there, set a pop-up up right off the edge of it pretty good deer sign there and uh, yeah everywhere else up in the hills kind of dried up the last week or so you know it's, everything's just opened up so much they lost all their cover um, most of the scrub beach and stuff that's up in the hardwoods has lost its leaves so that's that's pretty much their only cover um, so it's kind of concentrated them deer down to the thicker areas which is good in a way, you know. Um, I actually had a buck here last night on cell camera. A pretty decent eight point. Definitely one that I would shoot. Um, so that kind of made my mind up that I was coming here this morning for sure. So get in there and get set up before daylight hopefully and uh, hope for the best. Hopefully my muzzleloader season goes better than gun season and bow season. I still have not killed a buck, first time ever that I've went through bow season and gun season without killing a buck. Doesn't feel very good. But, got muzzleloader season, so give it a shot. Alright, so I've been sitting here. I sat all morning, went to the truck, stretched my legs, grabbed some snacks. sitting the rest of the afternoon not a single deer all day and it must have been just before five o'clock I looked up and I caught a glimpse of that buck the buck I had pictures of last night coming through the thick beach the scrub beach and I got this shooting lane right here and he was coming right to the shooting lane and he locked up right at the shooting
squeezed the trigger all the way through. And he ran, and when he ran, I could have swore his tail was up. I couldn't see a lot because of the smoke. But I know for sure he ran right straight across that lane into the thicket. I'm going to give it a few more minutes and go over there before it gets dark, just to see what kind of blood I can find, sneak up there, see what it looks like, and, and make a decision then. We do have some good fresh snow, so that helps. Yeah, baby! Finally! I walked up here, and I'm looking where he's standing. There's no blood, no hair, no nothing. First bound, no blood, no hair, no nothing. Second bound, third bound. And I look up, he only went 25 yards and he's piled up right there. Yes! All bow season, all gun season. I honestly was wondering if this was gonna be the first year ever that it didn't kill a Michigan buck. Opening day of muzzleloader season, almost pretty much an all-day set. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Dude, that's a nice buck! Hell yes! That's the best buck I've shot in a while. He's better than I thought he was. Dang! Oh, this is what I was talking about, this that's in here that's what these deer are feeding on right now just this briar and and beach scrubs and stuff and you see I was right over there on the edge of it that's exactly what he did came cruising right down that edge oh, finally it's been a tough season Yes, I bet you he's 17, 17, 18 inches wide inside. A good three-year-old buck. All right, guys. Um, first off, I'd like to start out by saying this deer is 100% dedicated to my little brother, Bo. It's been tough on everybody, the whole family. Um, Definitely it was tough on deer season. Um, tough to keep yourself motivated and keep going. Um, although in the same sense, that's kind of what's kept me going. Um, just being out in the woods and hunting kind of gives you your time to yourself and think and pretty much all I've been doing. Um, and I know, I know he was with me tonight. I know he was watching me, guiding me, made sure my bullet stayed true. Um, love you, buddy. I know you're up there. I know you're watching. Other than that, um, I don't even know what else to say. Been tough. It's been quite the deer season. One I'll never forget for sure. And for the rest of my life I'll be hunting for my little brother. So this deer right here means more to me than any deer I've ever killed in my life. Eight days after losing my brother. shoot deer like this first day of most motor season I can't even tell you how it how it feels it definitely doesn't take the pain away from losing him but I'll tell you what it sure helps what do you think dude it's huh? a nice buck dude yeah. Mm-hmm. As big as my dad's Tell me, uh, you put it next to the one that's on my counter, or my cabinet? Yeah, that's cold. Dad's. I bet you can't hardly tell them apart. No, I think that one on your counter is a little hey, wider, but... 
pretty don't decent. You don't have, you're right, you don't have something to judge off of it. If it had a little bit longer brow tines, it'd be a nice buck. Real, real nice buck. It's a nice okay. buck. Yeah, as big as my dad. Okay. For two years, I struggled with the idea of telling this story. How was I ever going to live up to what we have created thus far? For most of us, our lives have changed significantly these last two years, to the point where whether or not we were able to continue this series was unsure. If you've been following us since 2014, You've had the chance to watch each and every one of us grow from young men to fathers, husbands, business owners, and much more. Hunting for us is life, as it is with so many of you. And in being our life, we can find so many correlations from hunting to the larger picture of life that we face every day. How to overcome obstacles. How to stay positive. How to be there for your friends and even who your true friends really are. We can see the positives and negatives in the same picture and accept each situation for exactly what it is. It's about how we overcome those moments of hard times, times of despair, weakness, and even tragedy. It's about embracing and taking in the small moments of happiness, glory, peace, and moments of success. It's about learning from each and every situation and becoming a better version of ourselves being a better hunter, fisherman, tracker, or being a better father, husband, or a better friend. The greatest question we have to ask ourselves is what keeps us on the hunt? What keeps us going day after day through brutal cold mornings, miles of thick swamp, countless hours of sedentary misery. What turns on the switch, sharpens our focus, and satisfies our crave for the next hunt? It can't be about the fame, the likes on social media, the attention, or even solely the meat that we are lucky enough to put in our freezer. No, it's more than that. When I hear people say, it's not about the kill, I couldn't agree more, because it's not. It's about life and how we choose to live it. So let's live our best life.